What's up YouTube? Um, the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S jailbreak, the uh, untethered jailbreak was just released and I am currently restoring my iPad 2. As you can see there's the camera, iPad 2. Restoring it right now um, and then when this is restored I'll show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to jailbreak this. Uh, currently it's only on the Mac though so if you have a PC you're gonna have to wait. Uh, it might be a couple hours but it might be a few days until the PC version is released uh, but I'll show you how to do it on the Mac. And then I'll post all the links in the description for all the files you need to download. And once the PC version comes out, I'll post it, uh, another link down there with the PC uh, Green Poison download for that also. All right, so just uh, stay tuned for that. If you're using a PC, just uh, keep refreshing down there. Follow me on Twitter because I'll post it on there when the PC version is released. And uh, you guys can download it then, all right? Okay, so now my iPad's restored. It's fully restored. There's nothing on it. Uh, it's on 5.0.1 firmware. This will only work for 5.0 and 5.0.1 firmware, where those are the only public releases right now anyway. But if you happen to have the beta, then you're gonna have to download the 5.0.1 uh, firmware right there, and then restore your iPad or your iPhone 4S to that uh, firmware. But then after you get all that done, you're gonna need to download this program right here. It's called ABS in the, or ABS in the. It's just a, a version of Green Poison that'll work for it. Um, and once you download that, you plug your iPad, your iPhone 4S into your computer through a USB, and then you just double click on this program. It'll bring this up, try to zoom in on it. It'll say that you need to plug in your device that's on the 5.0.1 or 5.0 firmware, and it's gonna. this is only gonna work obviously for the iPad uh, 2 and the iPhone 4S. Uh, this will work on any version of the iPhone 4S, so uh, AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint, uh, and the uh, CDMA, uh, 3G version and Wi-Fi version of the iPad 2. All right, so once you get this program up, you're just gonna come over here and click jailbreak. It's gonna say connecting to device. It's gonna begin to jailbreak it. Try to hold it up with it. Let's say restore and restore complete. That was pretty quick. And we'll continue doing it on there. Again, this only works for the Mac currently, but I will uh, post a link in the description when there is a uh, PC version out. It's really quick though, you don't have to uh, go look for any firmwares, you don't have to have any firmware saved, you don't have to use Tiny Umbrella to save your uh, SHSH files, even though you should, because if you need to downgrade it back to 5.0, if you're on 5.0.1, if you want to upgrade anything else like that, you're gonna need to save your SHSH files. So after this is done, it's gonna say continue, uh, then it's gonna say preparing jailbreak data. Your iPad's gonna come up, it's gonna, again, go black, it's gonna say sending payload data, this may take a while, do not touch your device yet. All right, almost done. And then it says just unlock your screen if necessary and then tap the jailbreak icon to finish. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this on. It's kind of hard doing this with just two hands. I'm gonna slide to unlock. Let me zoom out. Okay. Then scroll over and you're gonna have to hit the abs in the uh, button. But now don't do that yet. First, you're gonna to wanna to go into settings. I'll try to stand up and show you guys. Go into settings, go to network, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to VPN right up here. You're gonna turn this on, okay? Once you turn that on, then you can just exit out, go back over and hit abs in the, otherwise you might get an error when you try to connect to, uh, connect to it, oh, like I'm doing right now. Use that, it's gonna just uh, restore, and I'll restore, respring your iPad your iPhone 4S, okay, slide to unlock, scroll over, and now there's Cydia on the iPad 2, and if you have an uh, iPhone 4S, it'll work for you, but I'm gonna type in my Wi-Fi password, so I'll be right back. Okay, now I typed in my iPad password, or the, uh, now, all right, now I typed in the Wi-Fi password, click on Cydia, show you guys that it is actually working on the iPad 2. Okay, and then once you first open up Cydia, it's gonna, want, it's gonna add old file systems and then respring, you open up Cydia again, use developer, hit done, and now here's Cydia, fully working on the iPad 2. And I'll show you guys, it is an iPad 2, right down there, iPad 2, Wi-Fi, iOS 5.0.1. Okay, no other proof you need. Cydia, iPad 2, iPhone 4S, this is an untethered jailbreak, so I can, you can turn your device off and back on. Uh, this will work for the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2 on 5.0 firmware or 5.0.1 using the abs in the program um, for the Mac and hopefully for the PC very soon. Again, I'll post a link in the description when the 
uh, PC version comes out, and all other links are in the description for you guys to download this program. So I, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, hit the like button if you did. It helps me out a ton. It only takes you guys a second. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up top because once you do that, anytime I post a video on YouTube, it'll show up on your YouTube homepage. You don't want to have to search for me or search for any other videos. You'll just see it right on your uh, homepage and you won't have to worry about it. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.